welcome back to Movie Review Mom. And if this is the very first time that you're visiting my channel, yay, you're here, you made it. I'm so glad. My goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision for you and your family as to whether or not you wanna spend time or money or both watching a specific film. When you get a minute, be sure and hit that subscribe button and even that little notification bell. It'll let you know as soon as I upload movie reviews, trailer reactions, or documentary analysis. So I'm trying to post stuff every single day, so you don't want to miss out. Thank you, by the way, for subscribing. I really appreciate your support. And when you get a minute, run over to Instagram or Facebook or both and visit me on my movie review mom pages over there and groups too. All right, enough of all of that. Today, the movie I'm reviewing is called Ambulance. This action thriller is now playing in theaters. It's rated R and is two hours and 16 minutes long. It's pretty long. I'll get to that in just a minute. First, let me give you an overview and then I'll point out things I liked, didn't like, tips for parents, themes worth talking about, funny lines, interesting lines, and even recommendations for a couple of other movies that I think you'll also like if you like this one. All right, let's dive in. In a nutshell, Michael Bay directs this action thriller with his classic style, strengths and weaknesses. Some people love him while others hate him. Now, I've seen a lot of negative reviews about this movie, but I was pretty entertained and thought this film felt like a true blockbuster. This is actually a remake of a Danish film, although I hear that it's very different from that original Danish film. I haven't seen it. Let me know, comment down below if you've seen that original Danish film and what you think. How do you compare the two? The story is about two brothers who steal an ambulance after their bank heist goes awry. So there were plenty of things that I really liked about this movie. First of all, they had me at Jake Gyllenhaal. I love that guy. He is such an incredible actor. And I love it when he goes from charming to unhinged within seconds. <laughs> and he does that a lot in this movie. His brother is played by Yaha Abdul Mateen II, who does an excellent job. And I thought the chemistry they had together worked very, very well. The cast also includes the lovely Isa Gonzalez, Garrett Dillahunt, Moses Ingram, and A. Martinez. They were all fantastic. Michael Bay is all over this movie as the director, but also he has uh, inserts himself in other ways. For example, he plays a cop in the background in two scenes at the beginning and at the end of the movie. I think that that's a lot of fun. I love, for example, when M. Night Shyamalan does the same thing, and I always look for him. I had a son who wanted to be a filmmaker for about a minute, and I said, put me in all your movies, <laughs> but he's not doing that anymore. Michael Bay's dog is also in the movie. Now, in the film, they call the dog Nitro, but in real life, the dog's name is Nitro Zeus. Fun fact. He also uses some of the soundtrack of the movie 13 Hours, which he directed over the titles at the end of the movie. Uh, he also directed the movie Armageddon, where there's another character named Will Sharp, like in this movie. The young actress who played the very young girl in the first car crash was really sweet and great. And I love that the movie started with her and circled back to her in the end. I love it also when movies reference other movies. Jake Gyllenhaal calls one of his crew members Mel because he says he looks like one of the guys in the movie Braveheart, which he says is one of his favorite movies. And I love that movie too. And I've seen it an embarrassing number of times. There are references to some other Michael Bay movies in the film like The Rock, Pearl Harbor, and Bad Boys. The dramatic music by Lorne Balt is really great, I thought. I love aerial shots in movies, and so they did a really great job with the drone work in this film. And I liked it because there are a lot of police helicopters cycling around this, or circling around the city, and so it's kind of fun to see what they would have been seeing. Anyway, I liked it. 
Great movie poster too. I like how it says Ambu LA, Ambulance, you know, like, cause it takes place in LA. And I've also heard some people call this movie Ambulance after Michael Bay. Anyway, Los Angeles stars in the movie and sadly it looks like the crime ridden dump it has become in real life, which is just so heartbreaking. Now, a good action thriller keeps the momentum and the tension up, especially when the movie focuses on a massive car chase or a manhunt like it does in this movie. And Michael Bay is really great at that. There are a few minutes when you can catch your breath, you know, where they're having intimate conversations, several characters are chatting, you know, trying to get to the heart of the movie. And that, that actually works really well too. But Otherwise, you're just like, uh, 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 you know, racing around with these people. Some of the dialogue is pretty entertaining, but it's also mixed with some dumb lines that'll make you laugh and roll your eyes at the same time. And both types of lines are entertaining, in my opinion. The movie has plenty of heart, as I mentioned, as we watch the brothers interact with each other, as well as the character growth that we see in Isa Gonzalez's character. And I really like that. I even got a little at the end. That's always good. <laughs> now, there were some things I didn't like, even though I just expressed a bunch of praise. First of all, I hate shaky cam. And the cinematography is just kind of all over the place. Now, it's understandable because there's a lot going on, but sometimes it's like, oh, 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 oh too much. The plot is pretty ridiculous and nonsensical at times with unnecessary woke comments. It's really long, as I mentioned at the beginning, and much longer than it really needed to be. Not all of the humor lands, as I said before. There are lots of overly dramatic scenes and some slow motion shots. Now, I don't mind the slow motion shots, but you know they're meant to be overly dramatic, and I just kind of go, okay, whatever. Sometimes there's so much yelling that you can't quite hear what the characters are actually saying. And again, I understand it because there's a lot going on and everybody's adrenaline is pumping and it probably would be like that in real life. I'm just saying, watching it and trying to hear all of the lines is uh, a little bit frustrating in some moments. And there's a lot of blood. Some of it looks pretty fake though. So that brings me into my tips for parents. Uh, as I mentioned, there's a lot of blood and gore and body parts and squirting and, you know, that kind of stuff. The N-word is used as well as profanity and many, many F-bombs, lots of destructions, explosions and car crashes, which is to be expected in a Michael Bay movie. There's intense violence with a huge variety of weapons and a very high dead body count. Now, the themes that are illustrated well and worth talking about with people that you watch the movie uh, are military benefits and government red tape, brotherhood, purpose in life, sacrifice, greed, family legacy, and a, a nod to ambulance drivers and EMT, emergency medical technicians, and the hard work that they do. Now, I always write down funny lines and interesting lines, and I include them on my written review at moviereviewmom.com. And uh, I'll share a couple of them with you right now, though. Uh, for example, one of the characters is um, wearing Birkenstocks. He's on the team, the crew that's going to rob this bank. And so Jake Gyllenhaal's character uh, looks at him and says, who wears Birkenstocks to a bank robbery? <laughs> And I just laughed because I wear Birkenstocks. I love them. They're so comfortable. <laughs> but the samples come back to bite them. Oh, I probably shouldn't have given you that spoiler. It's not a big spoiler. It's pretty funny. As I mentioned, there are some woke characters and woke comments. For example, Olivia Stambula plays uh, a lieutenant uh, on the police force. And she's talking to this FBI agent who's played by Keir O'Donnell. And he says something and she says, that's the whitest thing I've ever heard. And he says, well, I'm white. I can't help it. And he also is gay. And you see him earlier in the movie going to marriage counseling with his husband. And some people are just saying that was completely unnecessary to throw that in. Just a scene that easily could have been cut to shorten down the time. We get it. You want to show how woke you are. 
but it didn't really add anything to the story. And then I thought that there was a sweet line that was mentioned by Moses Ingram's character. She plays the wife of one of the brothers. And she says to him one day, I lose faith on a daily basis in this world, but not in you. And it's that relationship that he has with his wife that wants him to be a better man and care and provide for his family and uh, all of that. Anyway, that's part of the story. Overall, I got a kick out of it. There were some things that could have been improved upon. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably hard to talk Michael Bay into cutting a lot of scenes in his movies when he works very hard and spends a lot of money on some of these scenes. But anyway, my overall movie review mom grade is a B plus. Now, before I go, let me give you a recommendation for two movies that I instantly thought of uh, for various reasons. First one is Bad Boys, also a movie by Michael Bay. It shows that brotherhood, camaraderie, the whole cop life crime thing, um, and it's just good fun. And then another movie I really enjoyed is called Baby Driver, and it also has Isa Gonzalez in it, and I think that might have been the first time I had seen her in anything. Anyway, that movie is very violent, but it has a real musical um, sense of humor to it and i just really enjoyed it check out my movie review of that movie maybe before you watch that one but i i really enjoyed it but again heads up it's rated r all right that's it for my review i hope if you watch this movie you get a kick out of it and thank you again for subscribing and supporting me over on patreon i really appreciate it have a fantastic day and i will catch you in the next one bye for now